Hello and welcome to today's video, in which we would like to show you how to establish a connection between CodeSys 2.3 and the target system. At first we open the CodeSys communication parameters via the menu point Online Communication Parameters. We click on the new button to create a new connection. Now we specify a name. For example, building A, ventilation. Several drivers are now available. The Ethernet TCP IP driver is recommended for all 16-bit controllers. The TCP IP driver is recommended for all 32-bit controllers. And the TCP IP level 2 driver works with 32-bit controllers as well as the PFC series. The serial RS232 driver is used for the Vago USB service cable. It can be used with all devices except for the PFC series. We recommend an Ethernet connection. To do so, the name localhost must be replaced by the IP address of the controller. To do so, double click on localhost and enter the IP address. For example, 192.168.1.207. Then confirm the entry with Enter and click on the OK button to complete the setting. If we want to use the Vago USB service cable, we must set the assigned communication port. The COM port entry can be set by double clicking. A click on the OK button completes the setting. The Vago USB service cable requires a driver. The installation is usually done automatically when we first use it. To install it manually, the driver can be downloaded for free from the Vago website. For checking the installation, click Start. Control Panel. Now we click on the Device Manager. If the installation is correct, we will see the connected Vago USB service cable with the assigned COM port. Finally, we log in to a Vago 750-880 controller. To do this, click Online, Log in. With Online, Run, we start the program. We hope you enjoyed this video and are as always available for further questions.